Okay, so we're making good progress on our clone. So far, we've pretty much covered the top bar at the top. So our challenge in this video is going to be to recreate the dark and lighter red section of the header here. Now you can see that we've got the red and darker red bars extend right to the edge of the screen, whereas the content has the same width as before. So we're going to need an outer div which has a width of the whole screen and then an inner div which has a width the same as the top bar that we created up there. So that should be pretty straightforward. It would definitely be worth clearing our floats to make sure that everything appears below the top bar here. So let's have a, a special div to clear everything. We're probably going to be using that more than once. So I'll create it as a class and we just want to clear both floats. Not that we've got any right floats at the moment. And then I'm going to call this the menu bar for lack of a better phrase. So I'm going to start with an ID of menu bar container. So this is going to be the full width div for this lighter red background. So let's just try and get our red color first off. That looks good. And then what did I call it? Menu bar container. There we go. So we want a background color of that and a width of 100%. Let's have a look. Oh, we could do with a height as well. Let's try 100 pixels to start off. That's better. Okay, so we're looking pretty good already. In terms of height, I think that's a little bit high for just that top part there. So let's go for something like 70 pixels. Great. Then we're going to need our top bar, our menu bar, sorry, div to go within that. And that's going to be pretty similar, but we want it centered and to have a width the same as the top bar at the top. So let's go right back. Remember we had a thousand pixels and a margin of zero auto, which should give us the layout that we want and make it nice and centered as well. So in terms of content, we would just want the word news there. So I think I'm going to use an H1 for this. There we go. So the text is there. Got some strange padding coming in. And we definitely need a little bit of styling as well. Now we're only going to have one H1 on our page. So we don't need to give it a class or an ID. I think we definitely want to take away any padding or margins. So let's set padding and margins to zero for now. We might want to put some back in again. We definitely want it to be white. And I think we want it to be a little bit larger than it is now. So let's try a font size of 40 pixels. See how that looks. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we actually don't want it to be bold. So let's set the font weight to be normal. Great, that's looking better. It's not quite the same font, but it's close enough. But we do want a little bit of a margin at the top, I think. So we'll set margin top 
be uh, that's too much maybe 10 pixels let's have a look now that's moved down the whole bar which is not what we want so let's switch that to a padding at the top that's better okay that's pretty good pretty close to what we've got there in the real thing fantastic so now we just need to have our find local news link and that image there I wonder if I can get it no, not easily okay so while I'm here I'll do my screenshotting trick and then let's jump over and copy that image I'll call it a pointer there's probably a better name for it but that will do copy it into our images folder great okay so we want a little box there and a link inside with our image to the right of it so I think I use a div for that pop it after news but this is going to be inside menu bar so div id equals and let's remind ourselves what it actually says find local news so let's call this local news and the text before I forget it is going to be find local news let me just check the capitalization oh, all lower text all lowercase so I mean at the beginning and then we're going to want our image and I called it pointer okay let's have a quick look and see what that looks like with no styling at all hmm needs a bit of work all right no problem though we can handle this so first off we need to get that h1 to float left in fact we could possibly do without that because what we're going to do now is get our div which was called local dash news and we'll get that to float right there it is so we don't actually need this to float left it's not going to cause any problems but let's get rid of it always good to keep the code simple so I'm actually going to just get rid of the float right temporarily so that I can see what I'm working with here I have to make the browser window bigger and smaller every time but in terms of we want it white quite large and centered with a small gray box around it so let's have color white we do want it to be a link as well so a href I'll just leave it blank in terms of its destination not too worried about where it goes close that there now that's good but it hasn't made our link white and we're going to access that by using local dash news and then a and that will then style all the links within local news so if we now have a look at that we don't actually need that style and there we go so it is white but I'm just gonna temporarily pop back my float left into the h1 so that I can see it all there it will make it a lot easier to develop okay we want to get rid of that underline so text decoration none but we want to bring it back in on hover so local news a and then the hover pseudo class as we've seen before bring back the underline so let's have a look at that lovely all right we need it a little bit bigger so let's try a font size of 15 pixels Ooh, too small 25 pixels Ooh. don't forget pixels 
There we go, a little big. Maybe I was right all along with my 15. No, that is definitely too small. Somewhere in between. 20, that looks about right. All right, now the link is definitely a little bit low down. So let's use a bit of positioning to move it back up again. So relative positioning, and then we'll set the top to, let's try out minus 20 pixels. That'll move it upwards. Okay, that looks pretty good, but let's try maybe 17. I like that, that looks more centered. Brilliant. And now let's style the image. You just need to make that a bit smaller, really, and possibly change the position. We could give the image a particular ID, but slightly more fancy would be to take our local dash news and then style all the images within it. And there's only one. So that saves us having to create another ID for our pointer there. So let's change the height to be, let's try 20 pixels. Ah, it's a little small. Ah, this has affected our link as well. So we probably won't need our relative positioning there. That's interesting. So let's use 30 pixels instead. Still a little small maybe. Let's go for 40. Okay, brilliant. So I think that's about the right size. Find local news is now a little bit out of whack. So let's move it down a touch, not that much. We want it to be roughly centered with the image. So about that should do. And then we want our box round the find local news. It should be fine. Let me see if I can get that color just right. I'm not finding my color picker to work that well at the moment, but let's see what we can do. So there's the dark red. And that, I think, is the lighter red. Let's give it a go. So let's set the local news div to have a border of one pixel, that color, solid. Okay. That's about the right color, I think, but it's definitely extended further than we'd want there. Let's have a look and find out why. I think it's because we need to introduce our float. So that's now float. Let's see if we can get away with floating left temporarily. And we'll want to set a fixed width as well. So let's go for something like 200 pixels. Okay, good. So that now gets the border roughly how we want it. The width is a little bit wide. So let's go for 180 pixels. Great. I think we need a little bit of padding on the left and right, and maybe a touch on the top to bring it down a little as well. So let's go for five pixels at the top. And then five pixels on the right. Let's try zero on the bottom and see what effect that has. And then five pixels on the left as well. Okay, I'm liking that. I think maybe a touch more on the left. Let's try 10 pixels. Excellent. I think that looks good. Now all we need to do is bring it down a little. So we'll do that with a margin. So at the top, let's try five pixels again. And then we're going to want a margin right of Let's try around 10 pixels. And we're not actually interested in bottom and left margins because we're going to float it to the right. Okay, let's have a look. There it is. Fantastic. So it's not identical to that, but it's pretty close. I think we can make the text a little bigger and it'd be nice to align the bottom of the text with the bottom of that image there as well as it is here. So let's just do a little bit of playing around with that. 
if we can we'll float it left again so that we can see it more clearly there we go so we want the font size to be maybe 60 pixels that's not too much Oop, that's the wrong one font size let's try 30 that's a little large 26 okay I think that looks about right we'll then need to increase the width let's try 190 it's too narrow 200 still too narrow 210 still too narrow 220 excellent that's better now that I can see it there I think I want it even bigger so let's go for 30 and 240 250 there we go okay so that looks good maybe we don't need to move it up at all anymore let's have a look maybe it will position itself no it's still too low down without that repositioning so let's try moving it up five pixels a little bit more eight pixels maybe there we go excellent I like that so let's just change the float from left to right I think that looks pretty good one thing that you may have noticed that we're lacking though is this gray bar here which adds a nice border between the top bar as we're calling it and the top bit of the menu bar here so let's add that in and we also need to make sure our lines line up with that so this is where it comes in it has to be pretty pixel perfect so we can use our local news container I think for this or our menu bar container sorry and we'll give it a border top of 1px solid and we definitely have that color already because we used it on the left of the top bar menu so where's the border left there we go that's what we want so let's pop it there notice it doesn't actually matter what order we put these three in you can put the width and the type and the color in any order you like and it'll still work it out great so now the bar is there which looks really nice but those things aren't quite in contact with it so let's figure out why that is first thing to try might be to decrease the height of the top bar slightly which might move everything up nope that's no good so let's keep that at 40 let's just try setting the margin and padding to zero no that's not it either so I suspect that it's something to do with one of these divs being taller than the rest and the only one that doesn't have a left margin is this bell one because that's got the image as the left margin so let's just test out our theory by removing the bell div temporarily aha now that moves everything up beautifully okay so the bell div is definitely our problem let's have a look probably that's a little bit too tall okay we've got our margin here so nine pixels eight pixels all right so let's try changing the bottom margin to zero and we'll keep the left margin at eight pixels see if that does the job there we go very nice so now everything links up beautifully and things are really starting to say to take shape great so now let's have a look at this menu bar down here so that's what we're trying to create next you can see see first off that it's got a different red to the bar above so let's just get that red copy to the clipboard and 
and create some new divs for us. So we're now outside the menu bar. I'm actually going to call this very unoriginally menu bar 2. And then add some styles for menu bar 2. And the main one is that we want the background color oops, to be that. But we also want it to have a width of 100%. And that's actually not menu bar two, it's menu bar two container. Just like we had before. So we'll set that to be menu bar two container. And then within that, we're going to have div ID menu bar two. And this is where our menu will be contained. And all we'll need for that is a width of a thousand pixels and a margin, as we've seen before, of zero and auto. And that will give it a margin zero top and bottom, but auto left and right, which will make it nicely centered for us. And let's give it a height as well. So let's try something like 30 pixels. All right, let's take a look. Aha, so everything's good, except it's not quite positioned where we wanted it. Why is that? It's because we haven't broken our floats. So before that, let's add a div with a class of clear. And that should clear both our floats and move it down underneath where it belongs. Brilliant. So now we're gonna want a string of links, all of which are going to be styled the same. So I'll start with the first couple, home and UK. And once we've got those right, we should just be able to add the others in. So we want them pretty big, white, and we want to have this border there as well. So let's have an A. Again, we'll have a blank href. And this will be home. And then the same for the next link, which I've forgotten already, UK. There we go. So let's see what they look like without any styling. All right, not great. So again, we can style these using menu bar two and then a and that will style all of the links within menu bar two the same so let's set the color to white first and we want no underline so text decoration none we want a bit of a margin at the top let's try 5px and we want some padding left and right as well. So we don't need any padding top and bottom, but let's go for 10 pixels padding on the left and right. And finally, let's add our border right, it's going to be 1px solid. And I think it's the same color as the border around, but that we can't see anymore, find local news there or at least it's close enough. So let's use the same border as we did for local news, which was this one, BB4545. Okay, let's take a look. That's not bad. I think they could do with being slightly bigger and my margin top obviously hasn't worked out there. So I'm going to use font size. Let's try 14 pixels. And let's use positioning to shift them down a bit. All 
Okay, that's actually made them smaller. Let's try 18 pixels. Okay, I think that's about the right size. And I think we can make the menu bar itself a little bit bigger and then move them down a little bit more. There we go. I like that, maybe a teensy bit less. Okay, great. So I'm pretty happy with that. There's something slightly strange going on with the padding here, I think. But let's add a few more and it might become clearer what that issue is. So we've got, I wonder if I can copy and paste. No. Okay, no problem. Let's just add them in. So I'll just add a few blank links there. So we've got world, business, politics, tech, science, health, education, entertainment and arts, video and audio, and more. Okay, let's take a look. We'll sort out the more triangle later on. Okay, so this is good. We have a problem with our font size. So let's make that font a little bit smaller. That's easy enough. Try 16, still a little bit too big. So let's try 14, okay. That's about right. And then let's move them down a little. Keep them centered. Whoops, wrong way. One pixel less, I think. Great. Now I'm gonna bring in the underline on hover, which I know is not quite the same as what the BBC site does, but it'll be close enough. There we go. We need JavaScript to get this to appear anyway. All right. So all we need to really do now is add the down arrow. And of course we want to get rid of this margin on the more link. So let's do both of those. First off, I'll do my screenshot and remember you can use the clipper tool if you're on windows to do that or command shift 4 if you're on mac and there it is so i'm going to call it down arrow and then copy it and put it in the images folder as before brilliant so let's edit that. First off, we're going to need to get rid of the border on the final more link. So let's give that a special class, which I'll call no border. And then we can have a no border class, which has border, none. So let's just have a look, see if that's worked for us. It hasn't. That allows us to use a special trick of exclamation mark and important. And let's just make sure you can see that that's worked. So that's a really handy little trick that you can use when you've got potentially CSS instructions. 
So here we're telling every menu bar to A item to have a border on the right and here we're telling everything with a class of no border to have no border. So how does the browser know which one to do? If you want to be completely clear on it then you use exclamation mark and important and it will make sure that this one has a priority over anything which is not important. So that's a handy little trick. Okay that's great and so all that remains then for this bar is to add in our image so images and then down arrow there we go right a little bit too large so let's give it an ID of down arrow and then we can fix all of that. All right, so it's there. It's a little, little large, little high up there. And it shifted everything down as well. So let's try a height of 10 pixels. And let's shift it down a little bit using positioning. So we'll give it a top of, let's try 10 pixels as well just see what that looks like. Oh, as it happens, that looks pretty perfect. I like that a lot. Wonderful. So that's our menu bar complete. In the next video, then, we'll go and look at the left part of the main section here. So we'll do our technology link up there, and then we'll have a bit of content and our Asda image right there as well. Hope you're still enjoying yourself and you're staying with me. I'll see you in the next video.